Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the individual readings for the week of July 13th to the 19th. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had the Taurus video like halfway uploaded and I haven't been clearing the videos on this new phone like I should be and I, it stopped me recording in the middle of the video and then I went to... I went to like delete prior ones and I accidentally straight up deleted the Taurus video and it was a really helpful video so I guess it just wasn't meant to be but that really sucks uh, for me. <laughs> Oops, I guess I'll be more careful next time. Um, so I was going to start with Aries but I just decided you know what it's whoever wants to come through whatever energy is most present in the cards as I'm shuffling. Um, so whatever uh, major arcana I see first. I'm just going to start all over again. <laughs> Yikes. That really sucked. <laughs> I was like, no! I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Gemini, you're up. I guess you're technically first. More Gemini. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. That sucked. More Gemini. Oof. I guess Gemini really, really wants to get a message out. That's crazy. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Gemini, what you got for us? Saw the tower. Interesting. Keep seeing the King of Pence. Pentacles. Let's see if he comes out in the reading. Earth energy. More Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemmy Gems. The Jim Gem Gems. The sparkling Gems of the Earth. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry. I did have uh, someone mention that some of them are really loud when I slam the cards down like that. I'm sorry. It's just the way I shuffle, but I'm going to try and temper that a little bit. Gemini. You guys are pretty assertive right now, so that could be why you guys are coming through in the cards, but you're not wanting to actually say anything. Oh, all right then. Okay, four of wands. With that gem right on top, foundation coming together in celebration. Oh, this is very similar to the Taurus reading, almost identical to the Taurus reading that I just had. Two of Wands, decision. Decision, there's two of Wands. Okay. Uh, being stuck in it. That's a lot of crosses. That's a lot of cross happening there. More decision. I'm not going to take that. It's repetitive. There's you guys again, major for Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini. Let's get a few more for Gemini, please. This is pretty vague. <laughs> Messages for Gemini. Oh, temperance. Sagittarian energy. I love that. Uh, it's very healing, balancing energy. It's an angel. can indicate divine presence. Gemini. One or two more for Gemini, please. Okay. Well, that was very assertive, so I'm taking it. Oh, wow. Isn't that interesting? You might have Taurus in your chart. This is looking quite similar to the Taurus reading so far that I just did. A lot of wands and fire. A lot of fire happening here. With this king, I always get he's held back. This is the underlying energy. He's like hanging on to his sword. And sometimes I get like there's a lot of mental action going on here. So with that, remember how I was saying you, it, you guys feel assertive in your energy. Um, but no cards wanted to come out. That's like totally the energy on this card. It's like... He communicates, but he's not actually charging forward with his sort of communication. Swords are air, communication, thought, right? Oh, wow. Alrighty. 
A lot of Piscean energy. Yeah, this, you guys, this is identical. So it's obviously the same energy coming through here. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups. So ultimate emotional fulfillment. You've reached the end of the cycle emotionally, usually with another person or family. And then we have this High Priestess with the Justice energy. Um, so that's a lot of Piscean energy. You could have Pisces in your chart or dealing with the Pisces. Or you could be watching for a Gemini and have Pisces in your chart. Look at that energy. That is power. Powerful ladies right there. The sword of truth, right? Balancing the scales. There's a lot of balancing happening here with this temperance. She balances. Balancing the scales. Maybe spirit is coming in to help this person move out of this stuck energy. And with the high priestess, also very, very spiritual energy. Uh, she communes with spirit. Um, she has the book of divine knowledge right there they look stern they look a little stern and he looks a little stern just a little stern stern so we'll see what he's looking at um he is sitting in his single nine of cups energy as well underneath underlying maybe wanting to move toward this definitely looks like wanting to move towards i found this is just screaming Happy family life. <laughs> but it's not happening right now because there is that stagnant energy. Um, interesting. So that's you guys for sure. <laughs> Just in your masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a man. There you are again. Very present. Your energy is very present. Uh, very, very present. You could be trying to connect energetically with someone with that high priestess and the temperance divine energy there maybe you view coming together with this person um as divine justice maybe let's clarify the two of wands with the eight of swords why so stuck needing to communicate. He is held back, remember, and more fire energy. Remember how I was saying, like, there's all that um, really assertive energy, and there's a lot of fire coming out. An opportunity offer on the bottom. Um, on the bottom, and again, so we have justice as well, again. Um... This king is looking at something that's feeling justified to him. So this king is coming across as a king of earth. Um, definitely you guys could have Taurus in your chart. Um, and again, we say king, queen could be male, female. Um, or you're just acting very stable in your emotions. like, um, and, and very stable. And like this is like very single, loving life. Like, you know... Um, and there's a card of communication underneath that. He's got a big, fat-ass cup. This is a very stable king. So, a very stable king wanting to communicate. He's sitting in it. Sitting in it, right? That is another card of kind of communal spirit energy. It's like contemplation, reevaluation of investing, to invest in something. And then we've got... This king of swords again with a look on his face like er and he's got the balance the scale there's a lot of balance. he wants to bring a lot of balance to this situation for sure for sure and with the underlying being this opportunity this seed this is an energy of rejection but it's almost like she's kind of like what do i do and there's like people whispering to her the four cups it can be an energy of rejection or missing an opportunity mm -hmm. more piscean energy what is this page of wands if i the page of wands whoa okay Two of Cups, 
soul connection. Love. Ooh. The two of wands, so... Mm, it could be a waiting energy for sure. Uh, temperance can be a card of timing. Persevering. This is a persevering. It can be a very tired energy. This it can be the past and soul connection. This definitely... connection waiting well I mean they all are <laughs> really really more Gemini energy there with the knight mm. with the eight of swords it's like being trapped in your mind like and with the two of wands it can be like like it's literally crossed it's like this king is literally like stuck and wanting to communicate so it's like a festery energy and I think it's getting tiresome Tiresome, tiresome, tiresome. This is the Six of Cups. Because communication is not happening. I mean, this indicates that it will happen. But that's what just what I was feeling with the cards not wanting to come out initially. And then the blah, like all at once. Uh, six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here with the Nine of Wands? Ten of Cups. Yeah, moving towards your Ten. That's pretty, pretty simple. Cut and dry. Hmm. This is quite fascinating. So again, I would be, you know, shocked if a lot of you didn't have Taurus in your chart. We have this Hierophant, Taurian, major for Taurus, representing as this page of wands moving forward in communication about that soul con connection. So double confirmation with the page and the six there. And then we have this kind of loss energy that was underlying with this opportunity. And then we have the High Priestess. Um, not surprised here. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Cups twice. We had the Two of Cups underlying. We've got the Ten of Cups. So definite, definite divine soul connection here. Um, a pair. This is the female counterpart to the Hierophant. Um... And then we have this two of wands with this queen of wands underlying. That is that being in that decision energy. Um, and we all have masculine and feminine energy. So I really, within us, and the queen of wands is very go-getter, very vivacious. Like she can manifest. She's charismatic. She's freaking sexy, you know. Um, so it could just be that this king, um, which I'm, you know, as you guys, male or female, is wanting to move forward, but like is having this issue of either how to communicate this confidently. We'll see what's up with that. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, and Justice, please. There's more of that persevering energy, right? It's like, I'm almost to shore. I'm almost there. If I could just, ah, <laughs> like that's just what I'm feeling off this king. It's almost agitating. Um, and then there's, oh, to the 10. Ah, this is beautiful. Actually, oh, and that six of cups, triple confirmation. It's going to come out in every deck. Um, so reflecting, could be reflecting on the way something happened in the past. Uh, there's more of that Five of Cups, like, loss energy. So, like, right now, this king, um, you guys, you're kind of looking in your cup and you're thinking on how, like, this went in the past. You know, it didn't turn out so good, but persevering, gonna reach the shore. And then we have this energy. Ooh, and then we have this energy, which is um, the Nine to the Ten. Nine to the Ten progression, right? is he's actually reached the shore, but he's very burdened, right? Um, very, very burdened, trapped, more of that block energy. Uh, the, sh the ship's all broken down. He's got his, his little booty that he won earlier, but he's not enjoying it. He's just, it's so tired. It's tired energy. It's like, it's like a lot of work. This has been so much work. But then look at this. We have this renewal. 
So from the nine to the 10, a uh, definite cycle opening up here. With this, with this uh, card, I do always get, that's the emperor and he's moving forward with that booty. He's picking himself up and dusting off again. He's got the world in his hands, that big ass freaking wand, right? Literally could be his wand. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> stupid winky face. But, um, he's held back. Like he's not actually, it's, that's the, when he moves forward, that's the action of this page, right? Um, but he's not, it's almost like he's battling his own willpower here. I always get that because he's, he looks like, uh, like, I'm not sure if I can do it. Right. But that's the thing. This transformation's already happened because of this hermit process. Right. Major for Virgo. And usually the hermit's looking for the light. He's looking for his answer within. He in this card, he's found it. He's found it. Um, and he's just looking straight ahead. So that like really indicates an internal process. Right. Um, forcing this new beginning, whether this king likes it or not, it's already happened. It's, it's here, like it's, you know, um, also kind of similar to the Aries reading for the, uh, the eclipse that I did. Uh, not quite, this is a lot of soul energy going on here. Knight of Cups, that could be an apology, could be an apology for the way that something went in the past, because we do have all that past energy with that rejection, missing an opportunity, or... He could just be very worried that he's going to miss this opportunity because it's not coming out right. And there it is on the bottom again. Uh, clarify the Knight of Cups. What's this communication? It is communication and emotion. Piscean energy. A lot of Piscean in this reading. Clarify the Knight of Cups death there's more of that death process transformation right old ways clarify the knight of cups this ace of wands death okay we know <laughs> we already covered that with the inner transformation energy and again it's really speaking to allowing this process to happen of tapping into that queen of wands in the feminine she's very go-getter um this this king may be struggling with Obviously, we know he's struggling with communication, right? How to do that. Because um, it's not a very confident Ace of Wands, is it? King of Swords on the bottom, again. With that Ace of Pentacles, he's looking right at it. And this is an energy of letting something go, definitely. Uh, which could be temperance. We'll just one more for that death card. Maybe wanting to bring justice to the situation. So we do have justice there. Clarify maybe feeling like what happened last time was not justified. Um, with all that past energy there. Clarify death, please. Death, death, death. Too many. Just a one or two. Show me clearly, please. Oof, this king really wants to talk. Seriously. Oof. Maybe that's why he's not saying anything. Because it's going to be like that. Ah, like word vomit. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit better. So release, death, the end of a phase or um, situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on from the past. Persevering, moving, releasing that though, that's good. Um, consider a more playful approach. And this is the two of pentacles, which indicates two pentacles, but in this card, she only has one. It does say consider a more playful approach. Um, and then the Knight of Swords, Gemini, that's you guys moving forward into that new beginning um, with communication, creative solutions. Um, playful approach and creative solutions. And it's funny, 
this is so funny because one of the things that I like intuitively got when I was first shuffling, um, thinking things through, take time to carefully review, need to make a decision. So that's that like held back energy. I actually felt like kind of like a left brain thing. And I was like, oh, something about like creativity, but it wasn't like a fully formed idea. So I was like, you know, um, I'm not going to mention it because I don't really know what that was, but definitely there's a need here to be creative in your approach. I think that's why this king of swords is being feeling so stifled, like held back, unable to do this. Um, but temperance is coming in here. So let's look at temperance. Definitely a need to be creative. Unique. Especially with that page of wands. Fresh. That's like very fresh energy. Too many. Let's uh, <clears throat> clarify temperance, please, Spirit. Let's give this king some advice, please. Judgment. That is like backed by spirit. This is very, very, very backed by spirit energy. Uh, judgment can be a reconciliation energy. So a revival of like we were talking about that past energy and that transformation that with the 10 to the one, not repeating the same mistakes this time, being creative. And this is very backed by spirit. This is a coming together, very, very backed by spirit. Um, with that studious energy, studying it, um, and that high priestess again. This is that that king in that nine of cups energy coming together in celebration, right? The high priestess. Um, that's like working with spirit. I really feel like this this um, and again we say king, masculine, anything like that. It's you know it's just. It could be a woman, could be, um, it's just how they're coming across, right? That was too many, too many, and they flew out weirdly. What's this, uh, temperance with judgment, spirit? What's this backed by spirit energy? The star, wow, um, divine, divine energy. King of swords, yeah, he's working with spirit. He's working with spirit. Oh, wow. Again, that held back. It can be a stalemate energy. With the Queen of Cups, um, more Piscean energy. Um, or Cancer Scorpio. We do have quite a bit of Scorpionic energy here as well. And I also do get Cancer off this card because he's got the moon on his shoulder there. Held back, waiting for timing. Oh, but it's getting it's gonna have to be dropped. There's this death energy again. But really maintaining this like really beautiful wish fulfillment energy about it. Yeah, it's gonna be let go. It's got it's just gonna go. And I think the advice coming out is definitely to and also, you know, wand with that wand. Be playful, be sexy, be innovative, stand out, you know? This is Four of Wands energy. The High Priestess, yeah. Could be a secret. <laughs> Could just be a secret. Sometimes that comes out when spirits like, oh, we're not telling you too much. <laughs> this is Four of Wands coming together with this Queen of Cups spirit. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. It's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. There's just being held back. This tower, right? And that's just that being held back energy. And then the tower when it moves forward. Um, when this king moves forward towards this queen. Uh, that's beautiful energy. It literally does not get any better than the Ten of Cups. That's like the happy home and the happy kids and the happy freaking dog. <laughs> you know, unity. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Hierophant. More Taurian energy with the High Priestess. More that Piscean energy. Um, 
seek out mentor. In the Taurus reading, there was a message about wrestling with the devil and being held back by ego. And that was coming through as being held back by tradition and morals. Um, so that, there could be a little bit of that at play here. Um, traditional viewpoints or methods, that's like your morals. It's like tradition, religion. Um, but with the high priest, like you guys, it, it literally does not fucking get any more backed by spirit than this, like, beautiful. There's, like, not even really a single bad card here other than that just stuck energy, which I think is just planning on behalf of this masculine energy, again, could be. But these, this is divine pairing. This is a divine pairing. Um, the counterparts of each other, the masculine and the feminine, right, with the Ten of Cups coming out twice. Um, with the Six of Cups, Soul Connections, we've got the Four of Wands. Um, it's just beautiful. I almost don't even want to pull anything else because it's just, you know what? There it is. <laughs> the Tower. Time to spread your wings. Yeah, it's going to be a tower, but this feels like a very good tower moment. And look, again, you can't make up this shit. The Ace of Pentacles promising a business venture documents or contracts this feels like unification coming into unity of a soul contract content rewarding family life emotional material needs are met trustworthy relationships this is beautiful this is a beautiful reading guys um so this is one reading i after a lot of waiting on behalf of this king so it's beautiful you know enjoy it's it's very nice <laughs> see ya